Hello little ghosts and other folks and welcome back to our 20th Just For Fun Art Prompts with me, Jenna Elf. I am so happy to have you here with me and I hope you've been enjoying the series if you haven't. Uh, the reason we do these on YouTube is so that they can be accessed later, so never feel bad about going back and commenting on an old video. For today's prompt I promised something a little bit different and so I will deliver. It is not as grandiose as I had in mind. Is that how you say that word? I'm not sure. Um, but I think it's something pretty fun, and if it doesn't do anything else, like if it doesn't inspire you to draw anything or it seems a little strange, it might show you how if you do need those sources of inspiration, there are lots of tools out there that weren't created for that, but that you can leverage for yourself. So today I went to find a Dungeons & Dragons or just any fantasy RPG treasure generator. I'm a fan of random tables. Um, I own, I'm looking in that direction because I have a very large stack. I own a lot of tabletop RPGs, um, mostly of the three point whatever variety, uh, from 3.0 on through to what I call three point Pathfinder. Um, and one of my favorite things is uh, random generation and especially using tables. I have books on generating dungeons, uh, cities, all kinds of things using random tables and I really enjoy that. So what I did for today is I went to a website called, well, tell you what, it's Don John's Random Generators. I will put a link in the description box below for you so that you have access to it as well. It's going to look a little um, odd because the extension is .sh. I didn't look, I feel like a terrible person because I didn't look up where that's from. However, uh, the tables are really great. It allows you to put in um, the number of treasure units to generate the level of the either the encounter or the creature that you're randomly generating the treasure for as well as um, doubling, tripling, or even having the treasure that's being generated. Um, lots of really nice, pretty easy, smooth choices to make there. I am in no way associated with the website. I just enjoy using it. So today I just hit a random bit of treasure and I have three items for you and I will tell you the item and then tell you how I might interpret it if I were going to try to use it uh, for art or just to spark creative ideas. So the first item on the list is Horseshoes of the Zephyr. It's a magic item. I don't even really have to look it up to tell you that it's a set of horseshoes that I am pretty sure lets the um, attached creature. We can assume a horse, fly, but also think about the horseshoe visual. Horseshoes can go on pretty much any uh, non-split hoofed creature. I'd love to provide you with a list, but at the moment I just can't come up with any. But then you also have Zephyr, which is another word for a breeze. It is also the name of, I cannot remember, Roman or Greek because thanks Victorians for lumping it all together for me. But obviously that's a deity related to the wind. So you have wind and horseshoes. There's, there's some wiggle room there. The second item, it generated many, but I took usually the top one off the each section of the list. It's a potion of mage armor. And the idea of mage armor is this invisible sort of carapace that um, the spell creates around a mage to grant them a little bit of protection. So think about it as an invisible shield. You can think about it as literally armor. Uh, you can think about it as armored mage robes. So you have like a mage robe with partial pieces of actual physical armor. It doesn't have to be magical. There's also the, as the potion aspect of this. And then the third item that I'm trying to keep my head down to keep the uh, glare off my glasses. Then the third item is the salve of slipperiness. So to me, that kind of gets a little jelly, slimy sort of feel going on. That gives you a texture. So you have sort of modes of movement or implications of movement with the wind and the horseshoes. You have a sense of solidness with the armor, the mage armor. And then you also have this sense of a slimy texture with the salve. salve. That's such a hard word. I, I don't think you're supposed to enunciate it. I think most people say salve. Um, but that L is in there, okay? And I like to say it. 
So it's a solve <laughs> of slipperiness. So you can always find inspiration for prompts in a lot of different places. And I encourage you to look for those places. The Reckless Deck is a fantastic resource and it's really nice to have that tactile feel of the cards in your hands. And the box they come in is gorgeous and kind of, you've seen the overall layout of the card. They're very lovely to look at and there are a lot of artists out there who are using the hashtag uh, Reckless Deck and sharing their art using these tools. But if you can't get your hands on that, if you want a little more variety, if you want to start also stretching your ability to come up with ideas on your own that are semi-random, um, or at least inspired by an aspect of chaos, um, I'm pretty sure that that's, that's one of my favorite things about random tables is the chaos. Uh, then this is one way you can find a tool and, and use that to your advantage. I tried to look at using a table of literally random things, but that got a little boring for me. So my particular flavor and interest in art, uh, especially visual art, is heavily in the fantasy realm. So if you're interested in different flavors, then find a generator that generates items related to that flavor and then see what you can put together. In any case, it's been a real joy to make this, this series of videos, and I'm working on improving my setup so that I can make some more, hopefully with me doing some actual art that I can share with everyone else too. Barring that, I may fall back on reading things or just kind of nerding out about stuff I, like I sort of did here a little off the cuff. In fact, most of these things were done off the cuff, and I'm sure that you could notice. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed them. I hope that you're taking care of yourself, especially as things get more and more confusing and more challenging out in the real world. And I hope that you're being excellent and kind to everyone around you. And I hope that I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be.